Hello mga ka-Aliens! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir DL and welcome to The Aliens Vlog. By the way, I would like to thank those subscribers who subscribe on my YouTube channel. By the way, we already have more than 1,100 subscribers. Yay! Thank you po sa lahat po ng mga nagsusubscribe and continually subscribe and share this video. And for today, we will be having another math tutorial and it's all about sperm and rank correlation. Enjoy watching! Okay, I think all of you are ready for our next tutorial. Our next tutorial is all about sperm and rank correlation. Yesterday, we talked about Pearson R correlation. Ngayon naman, we will be focusing on Spearman rank correlation. Ano nga ba ang pinagkaiba ng Pearson R correlation at ang Spearman rank correlation? Tara, ating alamin. Let's try to state first the objectives of this lesson. Number one, discuss Spearman rank. Number two, solve for the value of R sub S. Number three, determine the strength of relationship. And number four, explain the importance of Spearman rank. Are you all excited? Let's proceed. Siyempre, before we proceed on our main discussion, I would like to remind everyone that if you don't learn from your mistakes, there's no sense making them. And I hope every time that we commit mistake, if it is unintentional, we learn something from it, we gain lesson, we learn lesson, so that they will become more meaningful in our lives, okay? Gaya nga nang sabi dito, if you don't learn from your mistakes, there's no sense making them. Let's proceed. Let's now discuss Spearman rank. What is Spearman rank? Spearman rank, it is the non-parametric version of the Pearson product moment correlation. It is also um, one of the tools that we use for correlational analysis if the scores are not normally distributed. Nagimitin po natin Spearman rank. Anong pinagkaiba? Spearman's correlation coefficient measures the strength and direction of association between two rank variables. Okay, ang um, Pearson R it is also um, determining the significant relationship of two variables. On the other hand, Spearman rank correlation is also the same. We also check or determine the significant relationship of the two rank. Yun nga lang po yung mga scores po natin nakarank po sila. Okay. The correlation coefficient takes on values ranging between negative 1 and positive 1. That means we cannot have an answer beyond beyond 1. Gaya, gaya po ng Pearson R, same thing with Spearman rank correlation, our answer is from negative 1 and pos to positive 1. The formula to be used. I think the formula that we use for Pearson R is longer as compared to the formula of Spearman rank. For Spearman rank, we have 1 minus 6 multiplied by the summation of d squared over n cubed minus n, where n is the number of pairs. Summation of d squared is equal to, is equal to the summation of the square of the difference of the two scores. Okay, let's now try to solve this example. I already put another example for today. And that is the performance of the students in math and in English. The first step that we need to do is to rank the scores. As you can see, there are scores 56, 75, 45, 71, 61, 64, and 84 math. For English, we have 66, 70, 40, 60, 65, 56, and 59. The first step is to rank the scores. For math, we will be ranking them. The first in the rank is eight, the score of 80. Second is 75, third is 71, fourth is 64, fifth is 61, sixth is 56, and seventh is 45. For English, the first in the rank is 70, second is 66, third is 65, fourth is 40, fourth is 60, I'm sorry, fifth is 59, the sixth place is 56, and the seventh place is the 40. Okay, we already ranked the scores. The next step is to fill in the table. We will be looking for the value of D and the value of D squared. Question, how do we get the value for D and how do we get the value for D squared? Alamin natin sa next slide natin. Here are the following steps in order for us to get the value for D. To get the value of D, subtract the scores. As simple as that. 6 minus 2, that's 4. 2 minus 1, that's 1. 7 minus 7, that's 0. 
3 minus 4 is negative 1. 5 minus 3 is 2. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Diba? Madali lang. Next. To get the value of d squared, we multiply the value of d by itself. We have the value for d. 4, 1, 0, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 4. So, we will be multiplying the value of d by itself. 4 times 4, 16. 1 times 1, 1. 0 times 0, 0. Negative 1 times negative 1, 1. 2 times 2, 4. Negative 2 times negative 2, 4. Negative 4 times negative 4, 16. That is the second step. To get the value of d squared, multiply the value of d by itself. The third step. To get the value of summation of d squared, we add all the values of d squared. And that is 16 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 16. That could be 42. We already have the value for summation of d squared. Question, what is the next process? Okay, since we have the values that we need for the given formula, we can now move on on the third step, and that could be substitute the values on the given formula. So what are the values that we got a while ago? Summation of d squared is 42, and n is equal to 7. We can now substitute them based on the given formula, and here it goes. So we have 6, Multiply by summation of d squared, that's 42. n cubed is 7 cubed minus 7. We already substituted the values. What's next? Jiran, our next topic is to, or our next process is to solve for the value of s sub r. Just like what we did yesterday, I posted the steps to follow in order for you to solve the Pearson r. Same thing today. I will be posting the steps to follow in order for us to solve the value for Spearman rank correlation. The first step, we multiply. That is 6 times 42 and 7 cubed. That means 7 times 7 times 7. That means 6 times 42, that is 252. 7 times 7 times 7, that's 343. That minus 7. That's the first step, we multiply. Second, we subtract the values on the denominator. That could be 343 minus 7. What's the answer? That is 336. Again, we subtract. Next, we divide 252 divided by 336. That is 0 0.75. 0 0.75. What is the last step? The last step is to subtract. That means 1 minus 0.75, the answer is 0.25. We already got the value for S sub R or the Spearman rank value based on the steps that, we, that I gave to you today. Again, the first step is to multiply 6 times 42, that's 252. 7 times 7 times 7, 343. The next step is to subtract 343 minus 7, that is 336. Then we divide 252 divided by 336, that's 0 0.75. And the last one is to subtract 1 minus 0 0.75, that is 0 0.25. Okay, since we already have the value for S sub R and that is 0 0.25, we can now move on on the next, next and last step. The next and last step will be determine the strength of the S sub R value. And the way we interpret it is the same what, with what we did yesterday with Pearson R correlation. S sub R is less than 0 0.30. That means we have none or very weak relationship. When S sub R is greater than 0 0.30 but less than 0 0.50, it means we have weak relationship. When S sub R is greater than 0 0.50 but less than 0 0.70, we have a moderate relationship. When S sub R is greater than 0 0.70, that means we have strong relationship. We have S sub R value, which is 0 0.25. What does it mean? Very good. It means we have a very weak correlation. It means that English and math have very weak correlation based on the given example. I hope you understood everything, you understood the process, and thank you for watching. We will now be reviewing the process that we did a while ago. The first one, 
rank the scores. It depends upon how many scores do you have. Next, fill in the table. The next one, substitute the values on the given formula. Four, solve for the value of R. And last, determine the strength of relationship. Those are the five processes that we had today. Okay, you try it on your own. I gave another example today. That is the scores on English and Filipino. I hope that when you are not doing something, you can you try to, to answer this one. And I'll be giving and I'll be trying to give the answer on my on the comment section. I hope you will be having time to solve this one. To end up, I would like to end up with this quotation. Remember, the greatest failure is not to try. In mathematics, if you will not be trying, you are failure. I hope all of you will not be will not be tired to try because as we said yesterday try and try until you succeed thank you for watching may the lord bless you and hopefully and try to comment the things that you like me to discuss for to all math teachers i would like to encourage you to watch this video and i hope this video will be able to help you as well in delivering your lesson god bless you all thank you